Japan is a land of earthquakes and volcanoes. There are zero nuclear power plants operating in Japan today. This is because of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant accident, which occurred on March 11, 2011. Yesterday, the Japanese Nuclear Regulation Authority granted permission to Kyushu Electric to make changes in the installation of the reactors at the Sendai Nuclear Power Plant Units 1 and 2. This is because it deemed that the applied design and safety procedures met the new post-Fukushima regulatory requirements. Both Japanese and international media reported as though the green light had been given for restart of nuclear power in Japan, but this is not correct. The Sendai nuclear power plant reactors must still go through step two and step three of Japanese regulatory procedures before the government can grant permission. Step two is a construction plan and step three is the operational safety programs. These are very important because yesterday's uh, app approval was just the basic approval, whereas the, the utility has still not submitted concrete plans on how key equipment could survive severe accidents or how it will monitor for the volcanoes around the reactors. There are five supervolcanoes located within 160 kilometers of the Sendai nuclear reactors, and one of them, the Ida Caldera supervolcano, must be monitored, and if there's activity found, then the nuclear fuel from the plants must be removed to another safe site. The observation seats at the NRA meeting, which gave granted permission for step one yesterday, was absolutely filled and very vocal because of the way the NRA was proceeding with permission. The NRA issued a press release immediately after the session which stated, all the meetings with NRA commissioners were made public online via the internet this is not correct. Yesterday's session was just a black, blank screen throughout the whole entire time. Nothing was visible on the internet. Also, during the session, there was great concern about the way public comments were being handled by the NRA. 17,819 comments had been submitted on the draft, but the NRA hardly made any changes on the draft and did not reflect the comments that were made by experts and citizens from northern to southern Japan. For example, on seri addressing how serious accidents will be addressed or on volcano issues. The press conference held immediately after the NRA meeting was also reflective on the poor way the NRA is handling the issue. The chief commissioner, Shunichi Tanaka, gave the press conference. Reporters asked repeated questions that the commissioner did not respond to and finally, one of the reporters stated that actually saying that the NRA was able to assess that the risks of volcano blast occurring at the Sendai and affecting the Sendai plant were very small, was not based on fact, and that this was actually establishing a new nuclear myth in Japan. The Fukushima accident occurred because the Japanese regulatory authorities and electric utilities ignored the earthquake concern at nuclear power plants in Japan. Now they are ignoring the concern of volcanoes in southern Japan, where there are so many volcanoes throughout the island. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe is stating that the Japanese Nuclear Regulatory Authority is undertaking its review based on the strictest, severest safety standards in the world. This is far from the truth.